Time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. Final Friday of the summer season definitely felt like it here in Central and Eastern Kentucky. Sunshine, afternoon highs, upper 80s and low 90s. And the hot weather sticks around for game day on Saturday. Plus, we've got that isolated to scattered storm chance in there as well. Fall season kicks off Sunday morning, but more unseasonably warm temperatures as we finish out the weekend. And a bit of good news given the drought. Widespread rain chances now looking a little more promising into the early part of next week. Visible satellite, fair weather cumulus clouds now that the sun is on the way down, beginning uh, to give way to mainly clear skies. Now look to the north, and we've got some decent thunderstorms along that frontal boundary stretching from the Great Lakes back into the western part of the Ohio Valley. You see things really beginning to light up with the peak warmth of the afternoon there into central parts of Illinois. Looking good, Mount Sterling in front of the Montgomery County Courthouse right at 90, but the key to the comfort level, humidity level, only 34%. Point out the feel like 88. That's usually what you get when the air is that dry. The feel like temperature will actually be below the uh, air temperature. So Lincoln County, kind of a similar scenario in Stanford, 87, humidity low there as well. The Kentucky Mesonet, so upper 80 southeast, right around 90 here in the bluegrass. We're starting to trim a few degrees off again as the uh, sun is on the way down. Dew points, upper 50s, low 60s, enough of a spread to where not an issue with it feeling muggy at all. So that's going to make uh, for a nice evening for high school football. Uh, here within the next hour or two. Look at the mid-90s, and it feels muggy, and you can really see where that front is located. Behind it, drier air, the moisture pooling out ahead of it, and with that boundary basically right in the heart of the bluegrass tomorrow, that's why we've got the isolated storm chance. So there's your boundary on the move. Even though it arrives in a weakened state, the combination of the heat and the moisture and enough lift that's going to put us in line for that chance. No issues this evening. Tomorrow morning should be into the mid to upper 60s. Notice a few little isolated cells along the north of I-64, at least our in-house data trying to crank that out. And then tomorrow afternoon, uh, these could be some localized heavy rain producers if they get going because we'll have enough moisture around. It's a lot higher than, say, two or three days ago when we were looking at the muggy cast. It does bump up a bit Monday and Tuesday. Of course, Kentucky and Ohio out of Kroger Field, 1245 kickoff. So it's going to be on the hot side. You'll definitely want to hydrate ahead of time, sunscreen, and I would go ahead and take the rain gear along just to be on the safe side, given the fact that we had that chance in there of an isolated to scattered storm. Now, another front a little bit stronger. That arrives Monday, and then we get a wave of low pressure riding along it Tuesday. So a couple of days with some decent chances. And then we'll watch the Gulf of Mexico because at least the GFS, a little more aggressive than the other models, trying to develop a tropical system which would impact the timing of the front getting out of here right now. About a 40% chance over the next week of seeing some development there. You see the solid rain chance chances Monday, Tuesday, and we could use those given the drought situation in orange there, Danville up US 127 to Frankfort, Williamstown, and in northeastern Kentucky in a severe drought. Few clouds, mild tonight, 68, but a comfortable evening overall, hot tomorrow, isolated to scattered storms, 91. We say goodbye to summer and hello to fall as of 843 on Sunday morning. If you're scoring at home, still going to feel like the summer season, more clouds and rain around, so that knocks our temperatures down into the lower 80s Monday, Tuesday, and then finally feeling more like late September later next week with highs in the mid to upper 70s.